Hello my friends, Mr. Nomadman here. So today's adventure is going to be both a dinner and dessert adventure. It kind of focuses on an Asian themed kind of adventure today when it comes to the meals that we're going to have tonight. We're going to start out at Lynn's Mongolian Grill right off of Cleveland Highway here in Dalton, Georgia. We're going to make our way inside, get some Mongolian food. And there's something unique about this restaurant I've been wanting to show off on this channel. I was here a while back with my family for dinner and I love this place. Not only I love a good stir fry, but the atmosphere of this place is just worth checking out. And then right after that, we're going to go grab some dessert at Cold Point, a Thai style ice cream joint. I'm inviting you to come with me. And here we go. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Tell us all about the finer points of living and traveling. Food, beer, history, nature, quest. Every corner of the world to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. And here we are, my friends. We are at Lynn's Mongolian Grill right off of Cleveland Highway, right by the other Kroger here, alongside with City Liquor, Postal Service Center, Gondolier Pizza on this side, and Los Reyes. Basically, anytime you find the Popeyes or Lowe's, just turn right off the Kroger Square and you make your way here. Now, when you're here, choose your favorite fresh ingredients to create your own stir fry here. I'm greeted by, I believe it's a uh, Lion in this side of the door. That's the emergency exit. Got yourself another lion here. Then you make your way in those doors guarded by two dragons. The address 1225. Let's go do this. And we made our way inside here, being greeted by this beautiful looking fountain here. Across this bridge. There's a bunch of little fish in here. Alabama Brett's with me. <laughs> Ready to eat some good dinner, man? Oh, yeah. So it's a build your own stir fry here. The little bit of the dragons on the side here. But this is awesome. So we just sat down and we got our menu here. The Lane's Mongolian Grill. Create your own dinner menu. Everything from like appetizers, the fried rice, and of course the Mongolian Grill. We're going to go up there and experience creating our own stir fry. All that good stuff here. Let's do this. And before we make our way over to the grill, just kind of get an idea of what it looks like here in the dining room. We'll kind of take a more of a look around. Got some lanterns above. And a little bit some birds over there. Check this out over here. Got a robot right over there. A robot waiter. Perhaps this is going to be delivering our food. And you got a really big mural here. Of all Mongolia or China. It kind of goes all throughout the dining area. It's pretty cool. Well, here's one of our waiters. And the robot is sleeping. Guess you're working. So we're gonna go ahead and build our own bowl here. Get our protein, which like meats and like fish and all that. Vegetables, seasonings, and sauce. And your starch, like the rice or noodles. And we'll make our way over here, so let's do this. Grab your bowl here. We'll pick it from chicken, teriyaki chicken, pork and steak, smoked sausage, pepperoni, shrimp and eggs. Oh yeah. I gotta go meet and get some steak back here. Gotta fill up your bowl with a little bit of protein. I'm gonna add a little crab meat alongside with that. Gotta get a little creative when you're at a place like this. You definitely have some shrimp. Well. Yeah. Got your vegetables here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot my egg. Mm 
everything to choose from from bean sprouts, cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, broccoli, peppers of all kinds. We have a bean sprout. Onion. Mushroom. Got to add some green pepper to this. So you got to be very careful piling all this up. To add some spice to it. Got a little jalapeno action. Oh yeah. So I piled up enough things here. Gonna add some bamboo shoots and some baby corn, a bunch of other good things. So I put the camera down to add more to it. But there's your seasonings right here. Got a little cayenne pepper. Kind of go ahead and sprinkle your your good stuff with that. A little crushed red pepper. A little seasoned salt. Paprika. And don't forget a little black pepper and a little garlic powder. And then lastly, you got all your sauces to choose from here, from sesame sauce to chili oil, soy sauce, Mongolian sauce, Japanese barbecue. You get all you do it like a one big thing of sauce. Or I like to make a combination. Now, I like a little combination in mine. So I made a combination of three different sauces. I used a little bit of chili oil, kung pao sauce, and a little bit of uh, the customer sauce. This is going to be so exciting. And I'm going to have fried rice as my starch. And there he took my food and it's being grilled right now for this. Oh, I'm so excited. And of course you got to say hello to the kitty cat. So here's another perspective of the entrance into the restaurant as my food is cooking. This is really cool. Our clear soups have arrived. Basically, it's just broth with a little bit of vegetable in it. A little chunk of mushroom. Cannot wait to have some of this. Okay, let's go ahead and try this clear soup. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is so good. It's one of the things I look forward to every time I come here is this. Mm. A very simple make, it's just broth and a little bit of a, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of mushroom. That, that's it. Somebody has come in to deliver our food. Look at this. You got Brett's stir fry there. Well, it's good, Brett. And here's mine. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, D9. Bye. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, okay. It is time to chow down this food. I had a little sriracha sauce to mine. Uh, Brett, how are you enjoying your meal? Very good. Very good. Very good. Please. All right, friends, let's go ahead and have this little bit of a Mongolian grill creation, a little bit of a mishmash of steak, seafood, and uh, bamboo shoots and vegetables. Let's do this. Yeah. Still work from mine, but <laughs> very delicious. Thank you. This is very good. I love coming here. This little green environment, and you have robotic waiters. I mean, you can't beat that. It was a very futuristic restaurant here in Dalton. Satisfied. One amazing Mongolian grill dish. Oh yeah. Right, now before we go ahead and make our way over to get some ice cream at Cold Point, and Brett was telling me that this used to be called the Emperor of the Emperor of China, right? Yes. This is the, the old traditional Chinese restaurant. I never had an opportunity to eat there, but he has a lot of history before this place became Lin's Mongolian Grill. But it was just a typical, uh, traditional Chinese restaurant. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
There goes the robots once again. Look at that. That is so cool. Well, we're taking off here, and it looks like the robot is making another delivery. We are in the future, my friends. Gotta support this place. Lynn's Mongolian Grill. Now, Brett, I think it's time for a Thai-style ice cream. Does that, sound, does that sound good? That sounds delicious. I think we should get some. Yeah, let's do it. So we made our way about maybe a good block away from Lynn's Mongolian Grill onto the other side, just right heading north on the Cleveland Highway, making our way to Cold Point in the north side strip mall area for a little Thai style ice cream rolls. And we'll make our way inside this way and we'll see what we're in for as we go in. We're here for the featuring of the rolled ice cream. Have you had rolled ice cream before, Brett? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's do this. <laughs> so when we made our way inside the Cold Point place and things that you could choose from, a big list of ice cream to choose from. And I chose the number 12, the Reese's on call, and I added a little whipped cream and extra chocolate chips into mine to add a little extra uh, toppings, no extra charge, but anything else, 50 cents per charge. But you also can do boba tea here as well, and smoothies, and get some futuristic ice cream of Dippin' Dots. Kind of make your way over this way. Choose more of your flavors of ice cream here. And she is making my ice cream right now on this extremely cold plate. I'm sure you guys see the TikTok videos of people experimenting with the cold plates with like sodas and a bunch of other fun stuff. But man, this is a true art form. The perfect roll. Look at that. Awesome. Brett looks very intrigued about this. Just looking right at this thing of melted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen, buddy. <laughs> well, Brett's been having his ice cream being made. Just found myself a spot right here in the ice cream shop by the Buddha. So I found myself a very peaceful spot right here. All right, Brett's going to have his first try of rolled up ice cream. What do you think, bud? Good. All right. All right, my turn to enjoy a good rolled up ice cream. It's been ages since I've been to Cold Point. Glad I could be here to showcase it on the channel. So I got the Reese's Call. I got the Cookie Monster. What up, T? Very good. Well, that was some very good ice cream. Uh, I would say uh, there was a lot of light lighter to the texture what you say yeah yeah it is yeah it has a has nice nice feel to it yeah. nice feel but it's not like because you have plenty of other ice cream out there but the flavors are too just like too much flavor but this is like more of a like a better it, it's just like it wasn't overbearing you know they're just gonna yeah enjoy it's a little lighter to the taste I think, Absolutely. that's yeah. what i got out of that so yeah i think so yeah but this was a fun adventure I, Brett, it's always good to have you back on my show, Hi, man. I always have a good time. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was great. Can't wait for some future Alabama adventures. We, we were talking about that in the ice cream shop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, some good we, destinations. In 2024, here. we're definitely going to go back to Alabama. Right, that's, right. That's, we're going to plan on that. Well, friends, if you want to see more of Alabama, Brett, I got some more content with him in my past. Make sure you are subscribed and ring that notification bell. If you guys enjoyed this particular video, we'll see you guys in the next one. Eat well. well we've got keep my walking. Better. See you guys later. You know, 
You know, I just noticed that the snowman is carrying a rolled up ball on his hand right there. That is very cool.